Hey guys, welcome to another lunch and review. Today I'm going to try these tasty um, breakfast poppers. Tasty is who makes them. Not, not that they are tasty, but they might be tasty. That's who makes them. Breakfast poppers. This one is the loaded pork. It's fully cooked seasoned pork with eggs, cheese, and vegetables. Two, 21 grams of protein. Heat and eat. Ready in 75 seconds. Or, yeah, 75 seconds. These are frozen. We found these in the frozen section near the breakfast type stuff is where we found them. Um, we bought these at Walmart. They were $6.24, but you get quite a few of them in here. So let's see how many you do get. Uh, there's, anyway. It is 350 calories for one cup, and there's three and a half servings in the container. Uh, the cooking directions talk about three, so I'm assuming that's about three. We'll, we'll go with that. Um, so there's your other information for you. So 350 calories. It's not, it's not too awfully bad. So you do not thaw them out or anything. They do have regular oven directions or toaster ovens if you want to do that. So you can. We don't do no stinking ovens on here. We do toasters. I mean, a microwave. So we're going to do the microwave. So what we're going to do is we're going to place three frozen poppers on a microwave safe plate. Heat on high for approximately 1 minute and 15 seconds. Internal temperature should be 165 degrees. Uh, product will be hot. Wait 1 to 2 minutes for serving. So pretty straightforward. They look good. So, and they smell good. They're very they're very strong. They smell uh, uh, very strong. Almost like uh, like years ago we used to buy this fajita meat. And the fajita meat would like you could smell it through the bag. That's what this kind of smells like. Um, it's got a resealable bag if I can get it open. Yeah. It does not want to come open. Oh, wait. Got my finger in there. Cut, cut, cut. There we go. There it is. They look like old sausage balls is what they look like. So I'm going to get three of these out. And I've just got a plate. And I'm going to heat these up. And uh, hold on one sec. Let me see. So one serving. Da -da -da, got a scale. One serving is supposed to be 135 grams. So let's see. Zero it out. So 135. So let's see what three really are. Oh yeah, we could do we could do even four, but it only gives you directions for three. Okay. I don't think we could do one more. Yeah, we can almost do five. So, but the directions, the bad thing is the if you're baking them in the oven, it doesn't matter. You can put as many as you want to really in a in a in the in the oven. But for microwaving it, their time is only on three of them. So you'd either have to do three and three, or do three and then reduce the time a little bit and do two. So if you want a full serving, just keep that in mind. It's it's uh, it's not perfect. So anyway, and they're all probably uneven, so it's going to vary probably somewhere. But just want to let you know, you don't just get three for a serving for 350 calories. So don't uh, don't count your calories that way. Weigh your stuff. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave, and I wanted to cut one in half just to see what they look like. Oh, see egg and I see some cheese on this one there's some cheese in some of these cheese right there so uh, I'm gonna let these cool off for just a minute not very long at all and I'll be back hey right, so I really didn't let them cool off anytime honestly I walked over here put the camera down here we go so this is what I'm gonna take you know they say they're pork but they taste more like a chicken. Or kind of somewhat sl slightly spicy sausage meatballs, what they taste like. They really taste more like an Italian meatball than um, like a sausage ball, just kind of think of it that way. It, it really does taste like a meatball. It has the same texture as a meatball. It's kind of got this smooth outside, um, kind of a dense inside. I like it. I do like it. But if you think about it more as a meatball, then uh, then I think you'll like it a lot better. This would actually be good. It's gonna sound weird. You ready? Take these and put them in. Make you a uh, thing of spaghetti and heat these up and put them in your spaghetti sauce or just put them on top of your spaghetti and put some sauce with them with a tomato sauce in these. These would be really really good. Cause I love the flavor. The flavor. I guess it does kind of have a, uh, um, instead of like a sausage, it really does kind of have a pork-like flavor. I'm trying to get the flavors out of it. It's got a chicken kind of like flavor, but then it's, then again, I kind of get the pork flavor too. 
Um, almost, almost like a sausage. Not quite as smoky as bacon, but it kind of has a little bit of a bacon flavor too. It, it's good. It, it's definitely good. Um, I think they're, they would be better with something else like a spaghetti sauce or something like that. By themselves, they're okay. But they're not as good as like a sausage ball where you get that really strong cheese flavor in there. Um, you know, those are just standout flavor. This one is good, but it needs something beyond just that, um, that spicy pork flavor. And I say spicy just because there is a little spice to it. There's not like really, really like burn your throat off spice, but there is a little bit of a tingle in the spice. So if you don't, if you don't like any spice, avoid it. But if you don't mind a little spice, it's fine. Um, you do get a little bit of that, but just, uh, just know that that's pretty much all you get. You don't get any of the cheese, you don't get the vegetable flavor, you don't get any of that stuff. It's just uh, the, the little bit of the spice feel, the, flat, the, the, the tingle, and you get the sausage, sausagey pork flavor. Uh, that being said, I do think it's good. I think it's a solid four. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. If you put this in spaghetti though, I guarantee you'll love it. These are really, really good. Uh, put it in there and heat it up with your sauce. You may wanna, you wanna uh, probably put it at room temperature or microwave them just to warm up a bit because it would take a while to warm these up in the sauce. But um, yeah, warm these up, put them in the spaghetti sauce and eat them with your spaghetti. It'd be really, really good. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.